Hello, hello, friends. How are you? I'm having a interesting day. I'm trying to be as productive as possible despite some intense period pain going on today. So I'm just constantly reapplying my Clary Calms. This is the Women's Monthly Blend um, and it is just the bomb diggity. So I have been reapplying because remember when we're using our essential oils we're using a little a lot so you know reapplying regularly and frequently throughout the day um, with just a small amount of oil for the best effectiveness of your essential oils so excuse me if i'm a little bit flat but i am creating a um creating a blend for a dear friend who had a situation occur that has really affected confidence. So what I wanted to do is create a blend um, just to kind of instill some more courage and some more confidence for her. And as I was Sitting on my office floor, I thought, well, maybe I should share this with you guys because I'm sure you'd love to understand more about how I create these custom blends and how you can create custom blends for yourself and for your friends and family with your essential oil collection. So first things first, I am using my emotions and essential oil book. So I love using my oils for physical support. I'm putting my Clary Calm on at the moment, but I just froth. I just absolutely love how deeply essential oils can support us with emotional support. So releasing fears, releasing blocks, um, soothing emotions. You know, I deal with a lot of anxiety. Um, I dealt with a lot of stress and the emotions that come with that and i'm constantly constantly reaching for my oils for emotional support now um this book can be purchased from a company called aroma tools there is um some newer versions than mine mine's a bit old um, and has been through probably a hundred or so essential oil classes probably more than that actually um but yes, Aroma Tools is a place where you can actually get this um, and a new version is coming out very shortly, which is epic. So let's talk about the way that I use this book and the way that I create blends. So what I'm doing is this book is epic, right? So what it does is it provides the single oils and their individual emotional properties, provides um, blends and their individual emotional properties. Um, and then at the back of the book, it gives just kind of like a summary. So you can look at an oil, so grapefruit, the negative emotions and the positive properties of it. But you can also then specifically look up emotions. Hey, Tash, how you going, babe? Um, so what I've done here is I've gone to the back and I've had a look at oils for confidence and I've had a look at oils for courage. And what I've then done is I haven't picked out all of them, but I've picked out a few different oils that I could consider putting in my blend. Hey, Joe, how are you? Um, so oils for courage. We've got helichrysum, birch, cassia, clove, ginger, um, uplifting blend, which is chia, and the encouraging blend, which is motivate. So I've just grabbed... A few so I've just grabbed chia motivate ginger and helichrysum and then oils for confidence we've got bergamot lavender um, spearmint citrus bliss the invigorating blend and Roman chamomile as well now as you start to get to know your oils and as you start using them yourself you'll start to know the emotional properties of the oils and you'll start to know that you know as you use bergamot how that makes you feel and how that response happens in your body 
But what we can do then is we've kind of got our base now for knowing these are the oils that we might be calling on to create our blend. And we can go even deeper than that. So what we can do then is we can look up ginger, for example, which was a blend for confidence. Um, and ginger is known emotionally as the oil of empowerment. So we can then read that emotional description and see what positive properties ginger might help to invoke if we put ginger in our blend. So those positive properties are empowered, capable, purposeful, accountable, responsible. So that might be an oil that I'd like to use in my blend. Ginger is a base note. Um, so when you're creating a blend, you can do it how you want to. I'm not particularly fancy. Um, sometimes I will just grab two oils and they might be two top notes, but they smell amazing together and they're the oils that I feel drawn to. So that's what I'm going to use today. There's other days where I will create a blend that's got, you know, your middle um, top and base notes in it. So um, ginger is a base note. So that's an oil that we could use in this blend to create a, a base note. Um, then we've got helichrysum, which emotionally is the oil for pain. Now this is an oil that came up in confidence, in the confidence emotional properties. So um, let's have a look at the positive properties. So healed, courageous, hopeful, transformation, perseverance, determination. So that could be another oil that I choose to use in my blend. Then we've got, um, we've got some oils that are already blends. Now this is really cool because what you can then do is have a look at the individual oils that I used in the blend. So this is Motivate, for example, which is the encouraging blend, um, which is an oil that um, will a blend that has come up in the book for confidence. Um, so we've got peppermint, Clementine, coriander, basil, yuzu, melissa, rosemary, and vanilla bean extract. So then what we can do is we can look at that blend and we can then add in, for example, maybe some more citrus oils or we could then add in some more base notes um, and just simply use Motivate but add a few extra oils in to really help amplify the blends that we create. So um, positive properties of motivate, motivated, encouraged, hopeful, energized, confident. Then we have chia, which is the uplifting blend, which, um, this is a really beautiful blend actually, guys. It's gorgeous. Wild orange, clove, star anise, lemon myrtle, nutmeg, vanilla. Mm. Positive properties, hopeful, comforted, faithful, cheerful, uplifted, joyful, determined. So we've got some really, really cool options happening already. And you could simply put Chia in your rollerball and fill it up with fractionated coconut oil and there's a custom blend um, for my friend. So you really can play with it and you can do whatever you'd like to do, which is really cool. Spearmint, I know, is the oil of confident speech. Lavender is the oil of communication. So these are oils for courage. Um, we've then got Citrus Bliss, which is the invigorating blend, um, which is the oil of creativity. So this is a, an oil that came up in courage. So why would the oil of creativity be good for courage? Um, so it helps us feel invigorated, childlike, creative, motivated, cheerful, helps create self-expression, spontaneity. Um, so that's really cool, using um, the oil of creativity for courage. Then we have um, the two other oils that I grabbed out are Roman chamomile, which is the oil of spiritual purpose. Um, so feeling purposeful, guided, peaceful, fulfilled, relaxed, um, and to have a divine connection and bergamo which is the oil of self-acceptance um really really powerful powerful oil this one so positive property self-acceptance optimism confidence hopeful lovable good enough so um 
when I started thinking about this blend and when I saw these oils come up, and again, I have two and a half years experience of using my oils, but as you start using your oils, you might spend more time looking through the book. You'll need to spend more time reading the individual um, descriptions of all of the oils and really working out which oils you're drawn to and which oils you think might be helpful. So with my experience, as soon as I saw um, the oils in that list, I knew that I was absolutely going to include bergamot in this blend that I was going to make for my friend. When I saw Cheer and Motivate come up, I was really excited because they're both really beautiful oils as well. Um, and I do like the idea of ginger as a base note as well. So from here, it gets really fancy. You can, of course, drop some drops into a little dish or get a dropper or something to see what they smell like when they're combined. Or you can literally smell like what they smell like combined. So what I've done is I've chosen chia here um, with bergamot and ginger. Mm, it's actually really, really delicious really delicious but I do just want to try motivate as well because I love this oil motivate just is really edgy and delicious and powerful it just packs a punch to really you know get that motivation um, yeah that that confidence and courage is definitely what motivate is about mmm they're all so good. Mm. I'm going to go with this option because Motivate has some peppermint in it. Um, and that's just that edge of peppermint in that blend. So ginger, bergamot and Motivate, that, that little hint of peppermint in there is just really bam. It's really nice. So literally from here, guys, I am just going to get my rollerball. And so a safe dilution ratio, this is a 10 mil rollerball. A super safe dilution ratio is five drops of essential oil per 10 mil. Um, and that's super conservative. Depending on which oils you're using, you can do a little bit more. And generally what we're doing is um, about three drops of your base note, then two middle note, and then you can do one. So that's six, but you can do one of a top note. So um, that's probably what I'm, I will do with this blend. Um, I might try, try two drops of ginger first. So two ginger, two motivate, and one bergamot. And I'll just swirl that around in the rollerball have a sniff, see what it smells like, and then simply top it up with my fractionated coconut oil. So I won't um, stay on live while I do that bit because um, that might get a little bit boring and I've been on here for a little while. But I hope that just gives you a bit of an insight into how you can create custom blends for your friends. So um, when my friends are going through whatever they're going through as situations arrive, arise just like this one has um, you'll often find that I'll send out little blends in the mail just as a really beautiful reminder that you've got this you know no matter what comes up we can handle it because we are freaking amazing so I hope you have a great day I'll let you know the feedback on the oil once I hear about it. Um, but if you've got any questions about creating custom blends or anything at all, just let me know.